Welcome. In this video, we're going to talk about the opera management and organization and a little bit about capitalization and structure. These are also important areas of the business plan. We don't have to focus on them too much because uh, it's pretty much capturing what your business is doing and the state of your business at a particular point in time. But that's what we'll, we'll go through and that's what we'll talk about in this particular First of all, with respect to management and organization, what you want to include is the founders of your organization, senior executives. You want to talk about what it is that their, um, their backgrounds are in summary. You tend to include more details like CVs and resumes in an appendix. But you do want to give a little bio of each person, why they're right for the job, why they have the skills that they need uh, going forward, that sort of thing. The second thing you want to have is some information about uh, the organization and org chart, who you have. If you have vacancies, you want to include vacancies also as something that's in your, uh, that you describe what sorts of hiring that you need to be doing. And also you talk about your culture, um, vision, values, those sorts of things, personnel policies, hiring policies, um, anything else that you've thought through that you want to make sure that when you build your team, you build a solid team and that you have plans for pulling all of this together. So this part of the business plan is essentially your own personal perspective and the management team's perspective about how the organization and the team will come together uh, to succeed. You also want to talk in your business plan about the business form that you have, whether it's an LLC or a, 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 more, a normal C Corp or an S Corp, uh, how that structure is set up. If you have any investors, uh, maybe the founding team, maybe you have an angel investor, maybe you have a first round of financing, who the investors are, how much they have invested, etc., who those shareholders are. You talk about how much capital you are looking to acquire in a capitalization. If you're looking to raise funds, um, you also want to describe where those funds are going to be going. Uh, in other words, what you're hoping to get. You're we're hoping to raise $500,000 in order to do some product development. And that money is going to go $400,000 to product development, maybe $200,000 to equipment. Uh, product development in terms of contracts with, with uh, design firms or whatever, and employee costs. Whatever you're the money, wherever the money is going to go, people tend to want to give you money for purpose, for specific purposes, not just so that you have it in the bank. So this part of the business plan essentially talks about what this, the business is structured to look like and how the business will work. And, less, uh, and is less forward looking other than how you're going to use your cash. So this part you could pull together relatively straightforwardly, but you want to make sure that it's completely crisp and clear about where your business is, how it's structured, who the owners are, and how, how any additional funds will be handled, the pricing, and how that money will be uh, distributed and used, the sources and the use of going forward capital. Okay? In the next uh, lecture, we're going to talk about the business or the financial part of the business plan. This will just be a brief overview because there's an entire module on the business financial, venture financial planning. Uh, but this will give you an overview of what needs to be in the business plan from the financials perspective. So we'll see you for that lecture at that time.